What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so, it's time. Five badges. We need to get that fifth badge, because in our last episode, we came here to Solistic Town, and uh, we met uh, our girlfriend's, uh, Cynthia's ma grandmama, and she gave us a surf technique. Yeah, surf technique. Now we can cross the waters and everything, but unfortunately, there is one more thing, and that is, uh, well, we need... We need... The fifth badge right there and look how dirty my badges are holy buckets look at me yeah anywho now off screen I was checking up on some stuff okay what kind of Pokemon did I leave while I was you know away and it turns out that I I did have a plan in motion I just didn't really use it and as you guys can see we have smoke we have Hera and we have Toothless. Now, the reason I have all three of these Pokemon is, you know, just to help me out in this particular situation. Now, I need to check up on a few things. Let's see. Okay, so it is a ghost type Pokemon. And it does have ghost type moves that we could use. It has Curse Party, just in case, you know, we need to add a little something. And here we have Hera. And it is a dark type Pokemon. As many of you guys already know, it will not be affected by ghost types. So that right there is good. And Toothless, our good old buddy Toothless that we haven't used in quite some time, is right here with the Sand Veil. Has, you know, bite attack and all that stuff. And, well, I think we have a good shot at beating Fantina over at Heart Home. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fly over there. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, we do have the Surf ability. Just we can't move or do anything like that. Yeah. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're back, guys, and, well, first is first, let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and buy some items, because I, I, I can already tell that this is going to be a messed up battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this lady, and here to buy, and it looks like we can buy some more Pokeballs, but what we definitely need is uh, quite a few Pokey or uh, Super Potions right here, so let's go with 11 more. As you guys can see, yeah, we, we have uh, saved up a nice amount of money for this, and it's looking like we might faint a few times, okay? So, there's no shame in using uh, what I'm using right now. I don't think, yeah, we can't buy full heals just yet, but we do have to buy maybe a few Awakenings, because, yeah, ghost type Pokemon have a propensity to uh, mess with you in stats and all that crud. And, well, let's see, here we have an Antidote. Just in case. Okay. So, the splurge is over, and, well, let's see. There was something that I need to do, and that is, if I could find different moves that can actually help us with uh, defeating this Pokemon trainer as well. So, let's go ahead and sort by number. And as you guys can see, we do have, cr or we do have Toxic. I'm not planning on using it right now, because, well, yeah, not not the business right now uh let's see we have quite a few workups and a few episodes ago we got ourselves shadow ball now this actually would be good in smoke or hair up but i do not know if i'm going to be using them for the long run and all that stuff and well let's see we got thief and then we got brine we got uh drain punch which wouldn't work uh bug Bug Buzz, and then Payback. This one here is, the user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack power will be doubled. Okay. And, let's see. Yeah, it sounds like we're going to have to be strategic right here. Um, Trick Room. Oh. That could be a combo move right there. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. And, well, here we got Surfs. We got Defogs, and Rock Smashes. So... I guess we're going to have to go in naked and all that stuff against this Pokemon trainer. So let's go right ahead and uh, go get our fifth badge right here. So where's the badge? Right here. All right, let's read that sign. We always have to read the sign, right, guys? So here we are, Heart Home City Pokemon Gym and Leader Fantina, the alluring, soulful dancer. Ah. How alluring is she? Okay, so here it is, guys. We are in uh, Heart Hood City's gym, and it's looking a little spooky. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey there! How is it going, champ-to-be? The gym leader here is a user of ghost Dad Pokemon. 
Beware! Normal moves have no effect at all on ghost type Pokemon. It's as if they weren't there, but you'll have to see for yourself. Go get him, Challenger. I believe in you. All right, he believes in us, and uh, well, it is time. Not bad. Okay, so read this question: What is three plus five? Three plus five plus seven. Three plus five plus seven. So let's see, let's see, let's see. That's eight. Fifteen. Okay, it is fifteen, and. It shows you where to go, so this would have to be 15 right here. I was never, I was never really a good math major or something like that. Uh, let's see. Correct. Congratulations. Hmm. This is new. I seem to remember something different. All right. Let's see. Question two. What is 12 plus 28? 40. Okay. Okay, I got a quick question, guys. Uh, is Heart Home different in yours? Because I seem to remember having to look. Eh, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so it's. Why math? Okay, so here we are. And congratulations. Wow, I am hyped up for no reason. Or I hype myself up for no reason. Wow. Oh, okay, so let's see. Uh, what is a 3 times 13? That is 39, right? Yeah. I... Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm assuming if we mess up, we have to battle someone. I would... I mean, I see the double thing in there where, like, if you get it wrong multiple times, he's gonna be like, what is this guy? Like, what kind of schooling did he get? <laughs> And what is the first room's answer? 15. Wow. Okay, so that's where you... That's where everybody probably gets it wrong. So, right here. And there you are. Okay. I hyped myself up for no reason. And it looks like I switched out Pokemon for no reason. So, we're going to go with Hydra because it does have a uh, crunch attack. And it will work. Well, hello there. Look at her. <laughs> Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this region, I always try to learn new things. They hold contest shows in the city. I say, uh, I say to myself, in fin, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Say un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be a gym leader, and uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, none. She is odd. This version of her is odd. Okay, so here we are, guys. Gym battle number five, taking on leader Fantina. And, well, she is going to be coming out with her Drift Limb. Oh my god. She made the biggest mistake ever. Because your boy is about to rock her world. So here we are. Intimidate, working like a charm. Drift Limb, as many of you guys already know, is a ghost and flying type Pokemon. Let's go with a Thunderbolt attack. Now, Ghost-type Pokemon are normally fast. Normal-type attacks do not work. Um, Dark-type... Dark-type attack actually work. Uh, let's see what else. Ghost, other Ghost-type attacks actually work too. Now, as you guys can see, Drifflin does have a very high special defense right there, so that's why I took two. These guys are capable of messing with your stats. They're messing with your your pps and all that stuff so just be aware of that guys and well look at that toxic batman grows a level 36 so does toothless without doing anything for the last few episodes and well here comes gengar okay i got a gengar um let's see let's see let's see you know what screw it we're just gonna go with uh with uh a good old buddy right here hydra all right super effective and she's going to be using a Sludge Bomb. Now remember, yeah, this Pokemon right here, Gengar, is also a Poison-type Pokemon. The best way to defeat this Pokemon... What the hell? He just ate something. Okay, uh... What? What the heck just happened? Okay, so I am, uh... Yeah, she's... Oh, wow, okay, so... Let's see. Let's go with the Rain Dance. And here comes a Sludge Bomb. 
never mind. This Pokemon is a tank. Okay, so let's see. Hero. Mm, Destiny Bond can actually work. Hmm. Screw it. Let's go. Let's go with our good old buddy, Monferno Mon. Okay. Super powerful. Use a flamethrower. Let's go. And we are faster than this Pokemon here. Uh, Gengar, normally a fast fast Pokemon. And there you go. Gengar has been defeated. That's right. Field of Wrath of Monfernomon. And Smoke growing to level 36 for no apparent reason. And wants to learn Sucker Punch. Okay. Let's see. Sucker Punch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. You know what? This is a... Uh, I just thought of something. I just thought of something very devious. Okay. Alrighty. So here comes Miss Magius. And, uh, well, let's go straight for Smoke. Smoke. Alright. Let's go, Smoke. I got my own Smoke right here. And she's looking at me and she's like, Oh, heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Yes, it is. Bring it on. Here we have Miss Magius. This Pokemon is, uh, well, it is a, uh... It is a trickster. Now, if we go with Sucker Punch, we are no- What? Ah, bucket. Okay, so that didn't work out. Sucker Punch usually hits first, and uh, yeah, that would have worked. So hopefully this Crunch Attack would have worked. And are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, so this is going to be hard. Okay, this is what happens when you get cocky. Okay, Curse. Here comes the Phantom Force. And we better hope to God we hit her with a curse. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Smoke. Come on, Smoke. Curse attack, yes. Faint. It's going to faint. But it's for the greater good. And there you go. Now, Ms. Magius cannot switch out. The only way this can actually be avoided or defeated is if you switch out your Pokemon. So, alrighty. Looks like it's smooth sailing from here, I think, I hope. All right, let's go straight for Monferno Mon. Okay, bring it. Let's go with a let's go with a torment attack right here. And okay, so let's see. Subject to a torment, Confuse Ray gonna hit us. That's gonna be its MO right there. Confuse, Phantom Force, and then yeah. But I already have a curse, so it's already defeating itself right there. Look at that. Strategy by Draven right here. Oh, yes. That's right. Feel affected by your curse right here. Never give up, no matter what. Uh, you got no choice in the matter. So, let's go right ahead and go straight for a flamethrower attack right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, flamethrower for the win. That's right. Feel the fire. Yes. And that's how you win, I think, hopefully. And bam, everybody gets some experience points, except for the ones that fainted, and well, you are fantastically strong! I know now why I have lost. Because I'm, I'm that awesome. I am that awesome. Anywho, here she is. She's like, I am dumbfounded! So very, very strong. You and your Pokemon are so strong! Your Pokemon is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. And there it is, guys. Bam! Throw it at that peace sign. Okay, so we got ourselves our Relic Badge. That is awesome. And that Relic Badge will let you surf or use the Hidden Move Surf with your Pokédex. Take these technical machines, too. I know you'll make good, make good use of them. And, well, we're going to get some stickers, too. And we got ourselves a TM65s, which would be... Shadow Claw. Yeah. Don't know who can use it. Okay, so very strongly move. It is. It hurts to turn and critical often. Okay, so... There it is, guys. We got five badges, and uh, we are still awesome. Very, very awesome. Yeah, that's what happens when uh, that's what happens when you take your vitamins and minerals, guys. Kind of, probably. I don't know. Anywho, so let's see. Five badges. I I am hoping that that right there will enable us to use Pokemon up to level 40, 50. You guys know where I'm going with this, right? Because uh, while I was off screen, I kind of looked at a specific Pokemon that, you know, may help us in the long run just because we're awesome like that. 
I cannot wait to introduce him or her. Okay. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And why is this place so long? I do not know. Okay, so we're going down. And... Bam. Five badges in all. And after defeating... You know... After defeating Fantina, you're going to be talked to by Cynthia herself. Now, before I do anything or read anything like this, we're reaching a little time limit, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're back, guys. So, before we read into this right here, um, my camera, the Canon G7X, has a bit of a time limit when it comes to recording a full-on episode. And that is 20 minutes. We were right there. 17 minutes in all. My bad. So, anywho, continue on right here. Cynthia's like, I'm so glad to see you. You're not very, you're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what uh, took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did by the ruins. Mm. And she's like, but that team of Galactic, I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics. You know, talking about how they're going to make a new universe and all, and that weird way they dress too. I thought they were harmless. It appears as if they're a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding? Uh, hoarding Pokemon? That's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Cantalave City. They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It also it may also be of help to, uh, to the completion of your Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye-bye for now. Look at her walk. Regal champion-esque because she is the champ oh man I cannot wait to battle her because that's gonna be interesting anywho yes we have won five badges and all and now I think in the next episode I'm gonna take a nice detour for a lot of things because we have passed by a lot of riverbanks and oceans and all that stuff guys I do want to get some items so Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to be taking tours, talk about life itself. Not really, but you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Many more to come. I mean, two a week is good enough for me right here for you guys. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys again for being patient as always. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you guys next time.